see if I can stay on topic for five minutes and only five minutes. Um, blockchain, to me, is not the end-all be-all solution that it seems to be to the tech world. Both open source and blockchain are very powerful tools. I am behind. I love them. I also don't think in and of themselves they are solutions because they are geared towards a very specific demographic, which are technology people. People who already like technology or seeking it out or trying to find the new innovative thing. Um, but it's not the masses. It's not even looking to be a solution to the masses. It's already a barrier to entry to say you need to be this technologically elite, right? To use open source that someone else has, has made, to use WordPress is, is, is user friendly enough. But if you're not a coder, you have to pay so much more to your, use WordPress than if you're someone who understands, like truly can get the open source benefits because you can code. Uh, blockchain is similar in that. The projects that people keep pointing me towards, Holchain, Holochain, and Colony.io, um, seem to be blockchain solutions, which because they have that as their sticking point, that means that if you're trying to solve a problem, you first need to run it through blockchain, as opposed to asking what's the best solution for this? What's the best um, solution for us as users? And how do we create that together? That's a very different question than like, it has to be blockchain. If your only tool is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. And so needing it to first be blockchain is first you have to make every problem a nail and then we're allowed to start working on it as opposed to like, no, is it a nail? Is it a screw? Is it not any of those things at all? Is it, you know, a bracket? Like we need a different strategy. And if anyone can be part of that strategy, if anyone can come be part of a conversation as to what's not working for them in their current life, in the current world, what don't they understand and how can we make it more clear? What isn't easy and how can we make it more simple for them to do? What we are doing together is starting with something and improving it. I can't improve holo chains and because I don't own them. I don't own the individual pieces. I don't own the whole. I don't understand it. And so the complicatedness of blockchain itself, that people don't understand it. I understand it more than 90% of your average people out there. I don't understand it as much as the people working on blockchain. I understand, I've watched a ton of YouTube videos on it. I'm like, every time I'm like, okay, I think I got it. It's complicated. No one's going to adopt a complicated system they don't understand over one that's for profit when they don't see the trust and they don't see the reason why you should trust this and not this. Oh, because there's no ledger and it's, an, what? I don't, because I own my own data. That they can get, but then it's like, but how do I trust you? How do I know you're going to be here in six months? I don't care if I own my data if I don't get to keep it. Um, there is, maybe, maybe I care, but not as deeply as I want to be able to have access to it even if you go down, right? And blockchain can solve that, but it can't necessarily convey that it solves it to the masses until the masses are already on board, right? Oh, it's don't worry, it's in the cloud. The next project will be able to use your data. Wait, it's in the cloud? I thought it was decentralized. It's on your cloud, whatever, whatever it's on. Um, blockchain technology that we don't own together, because it's literally like the point is that the developer owns it and or like, how do we make money on it? That's part of, we're not even part of that discussion. You get to state, Holochain and Colony get to state how people make money on it. And there might be a way to, to, to work on that together, but it's not designed together from the ground up. It can't be improved by us as easily as what I'm talking about, where we're literally starting with something and looking for constantly, how do we improve it to meet your needs? It's not more powerful than what we currently have on Facebook and Google. So it's gonna be really hard to outcompete Facebook and Google with their money and their power. And it's not less risky. Developers still have to come on board, put their time, put their money into developing something. And it's a unicorn and it wins, yay, millions of dollars or it's crap. And then we don't trust the next one that comes on board. So that's where I, having a system, whatever that system is, to be able to come together and create solutions together, starting with technology because it is the most efficient. It is how we get solutions to the most amount of people for the least amount of money. And when you improve it, it's everyone you have it improved. You have a table and you improve it, and everyone's got to get a new table to improve it or get that new leg that got improved, whatever it is. With technology, we can design it so that, no, you just get it in your new in your next download, right? We can even design actual hardware so that it's inter whatever, swappable and cradle to grave technology. We're taking, a, we're looking at the means of production and making it more efficient. 
able to have the tools to come together anyone anywhere who wants to is able to come and say what's not working for them and work with a small group the large group themselves to form a solution that works for them and empowered that whatever solution comes through there we already own it together we already want it to succeed and so we're going to market it we're going to fund it we're going to problem solve in a whole new way that when we have ownership over it than when it's somebody else's project and all of the blockchain projects are somebody else's project and until we come up with a way to at least solve the trust problem not for the techies who understand blockchain but for everyone for your grandmother if your grandmother asks you why do i choose why do i why would i trust your application over facebook and your answer is because i'm your granddaughter <laughs> grandma that's not a good enough answer we have to be able to have trust transparency democracy all of the things that make something we can create together with full transparency much more powerful and much less risky than anything that is currently happening in the blockchain space thank you